In this episode, we're talking about complex parameterizations. Hey everyone, it's Brian. Welcome back to the complex analysis video series. In this episode, we're talking about complex parametric curves. So if you've taken Calc 2, you'll be familiar with the idea of a parameterization. Basically, a parameterization, z, or rather I should say z of t, z is a complex parameterization of x of t plus i y of t, where t is a real variable varying over some interval a to b, and this is the form of a complex parametric curve, or just a parametric curve as you might call it. So these parameterizations will help us find images under complex maps. Let's do an example. So in this example, I want to find the image of this line segment under this function w equals iz. So to do this, I'm going to need to find a parameterization for this line segment. And in general, the parameterization of any line segment is given by this equation, where z0 is the initial point and z1 is the terminal point, and t varies from 0 to 1. So you can see why this works, because if I plug in 0 into this equation for t, the z1 term will drop out, and z0 will just get times 1, so plugging in 0 gives us our first point. And if I plug in 1 for t, 1 minus 1 is 0, the z0 term will drop out, and I'll just be left with a z1 point, the terminal point. So for t varying between 0 and 1, this equation will vary across the an entire line segment starting at z0 and finishing at z1. So that means the parameterization of this line segment, which starts at 1 and ends at 2i, will be this for t varying from between 0 and 1. And now what I can do, since I'm defining z to be a function of t, I'll just replace this equation in for z, and then I'll be able to rearrange things, and then we'll be able to graph the image. So really I'm just multiplying this whole thing by i, and keeping in mind that i squared is negative 1. And so after this substitution, what we have is this expression for w. Well, what is this? Well, this looks awfully familiar to the parameterization of a line we just did. So this is actually a parameterization of a line segment starting at i and then ending at minus 2. So the image of this line segment under w will start at 1i and then end at negative 2. So this is the image under w of this function. Here are some common parameterizations to help you out. These might be useful in different situations, so if you want to pause the video and check these out. The first one is the line, we already discussed that. The second one is a ray, so a ray is just a line segment uh, where one end is extended forever. And you can see it's very similar to the line except that uh, the t value varies to infinity, so that makes that line shoot off. And then here we have a circle with center z0 and radius r. Um, where t varies between 0 and 2 pi, and this comes from the exponential form of a complex number. So you can click right here if you want to check out how to do the exponential form of a complex number, and you'll see why that involves circles, basically because e to the it makes up sines and cosines. That's how we do it. So in general, what you're going to want to do, if you want to find the image under a complex map, the best thing to do most of the time is to parameterize your sets using maybe one of these, or maybe you need a more complex parameterization, and then we'll substitute the parameterization into the map, and then we'll undo the parameterization, and we'll be able to graph the image. In this episode, we introduced complex parameterization. We talked about a few basic parameterizations, and we did an example. I hope you join me in the next episode where we'll talk about linear complex maps. If you're enjoying this series, please subscribe so you don't miss anything, and have a great day.